Hello friends, I'm so excited. The Everyday Brush Cleaner, this is something, this is our most requested. I know. But you know, I we didn't just wanna do just any other brush wash. So how you clean your brushes is so important. And I know you're thinking, Rose, you're just saying that because it's yours. I promise you, you want something that cleanses your brush. Yes, we have to get that makeup off, but a lot of times the things that we use, they turn our bristles into SOS pads. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I must make myself small. I love when I do this. So I'm just gonna let you pause and read this. I, I, I really wanted something that obviously, like I mentioned, really gets in there we we do need to deep clean our brushes but a lot of times and i feel this even kind of lends itself to skincare a lot of times when we think dry it out get it off scrub it off that's not always what we want we need to balance and we even need to balance our brushes and this one right here the one that we just launched has that avocado oil aloe vera fragrance free it's it's like i said we're not going to get too wild i'm not going to bore you but i am excited and if you've ever noticed, I'm gonna, in the next slide, I'm gonna show you this up close. There is never a residue on any of the brushes. And I've been sneaking, I have been testing this. I don't even know how long I've been testing it. But yeah, let me move myself here in case you, ooh, I'm so little. Now again, never, you never feel any pressure here, never. But this is something I'm very passionate about. I've been passionate about brushes. That's why I wanted to do brushes. I just love them. So it's even important how we take care of them. I'm sure most of us know that, but never, don't feel, let me get in closer. You might little bee self. Don't ever feel pressure here. You're never doing anything wrong, but I'm just excited for this. We have a cleansing option now and we have, um, we just have another option for you. I'm excited. But let me show you my, my brush up close. I'm very proud of it. Now let's get this to focus. Never, Lord have mercy, never a film. Am I too far back? Not me squinting. Never a film. There should never be a film on your brush, ever. It should feel like a little bunny tail. And it should, because anytime we have residue on something, it's not going to perform the same way. So, but we also, like I mentioned, we need a little bit of hydration or we're gonna dry out even synthetic fibers because of course, synthetic fibers, all of the brushes here at Rosamond Beauty. Um, but you can even dry those out. And if they're too dry, they're not gonna perform. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. And one more thing, thank you. All right, update. These lasted till 10.30 last night. And you know what else I love? Now, are we still need to see how many wears we get out of them. I'm not sure about that yet. So let's hang on, everybody hang on. But I, I, I love how, I didn't even clean these. So I would recommend not, you know how sometimes with actual um, lash glue, what is with my, there we go, my camera today. With actual lash glue, we pick that glue off. With these, you don't want to, but also look at how they didn't pick up that glittery shadow I had on yesterday. There's just a few little sparkles, which is absolutely fine. And you could just take a spoolie and just kind of dust them just lightly. We don't want to pick it off, but if you just wanted to dust them, that'd be fine. I, I'm i kind of blown away with these. If, if I don't ever have to use glue again, I would be so happy. But before we all run and grab them, let me see how many wears we get out of them. We only have one wear right now, but I love, I was saying, I just, I love them so much, but again, um, we're just gonna wait because if we only get one wear, that's not good. But I, 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 I can still feel that they have they have a lot of life left in them. But I just don't want y'all to just to run and get them and me not test them more. And you just think, bro, this is terrible. Don't do that. Let's give it a second. This might be one of my favorite palettes of all time. I know that's that's some, that's some serious words, but I, I just love everything about this. I feel that we've reached another level in um, formula. These gold shadows, this is already, this, that look I did yesterday is already on my saved highlights. We've reached another level in quality, in formula. So these gold shadows, they truly go on differently. They pick up differently. That looks like molten gold. It looks wet. So I cannot 
recommend this palette enough. The way that it looks on the eyes is spectacular. It's something else. I know this is spicy price. We're n I don't want you to feel like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. That's not what I'm saying, but I am very passionate about it. And I think it's beautiful and it's one of, one of my new favorites of all time. Now, let me take off, cause today I just have on a little bit of, of my CoverGirl brow gel. I just threw it on. I didn't even have time to clean up my brow today, but we're literally about to put this on cause I'm obsessed with it. Um, let me get some micellar water here and I'm gonna take off the brow gel. I have nothing else in my brows, just the CoverGirl one, which I love 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 and i've had this on since like 9 a.m so this is the one i'm talking about i love it holds so affordable but there's no pigment to it that's why we're going to move over to the other one but if you want a gel that actually holds coarse brows with no pigment this one love it 10 out of a 10 but there's still some sparseness in my brows oh and really quickly we're about i'm about to put that on but i've had this on since about 9 30 and i haven't even touched up I had lip liner on, but that's gone. But you know what? This isn't, and yes, I have eaten and I have drank coffee. Um, I'm gonna throw some more on right now so you can see how intense it really can be. Again, that's it. Since nine, I don't even know what time it is. I know it's not 9.30. That's where we started. That's where we started. This stuff is so good and it lasts. <laughs> This stuff lasts. This is one of my new favorite products. All right, now let's put this on. I love it. Um, I'm doing the shade MJ again today. And then, oh, wait, I wanna show you. All I do is take that and then I just wipe the very front of it off. And then I just start to build it in there. But you do have to be a little patient and it's gonna be really, really wild. And then I still don't have foundation on. Y'all know I always do my brows first anyways. And I just keep building because it's that tubing that kind of starts to elongate but then it has the color and the tubing even fills in the gaps too because I have a little gap right here so let's get in there Ooh, what gap never happened but don't worry about the mess I just kind of keep doing this and then I give it a break to get a little bit more tacky. Let's give it a little second. And then once it starts to get tacky, then I start to lay the hair the way it naturally kind of wants to lay because I'm not doing, I'm not doing the laminated look, just a little bit of a sculpt. There we go. I know, but you know what? I don't really even use wet wipes, but imagine taking that off with a wet wipe so easy. I'm, a, I'm about to show you with the micellar water, but just imagine that. Actually, I found one. My mom had one. I went and got one from her. She, I don't even know what she was doing with it. She's not even wearing makeup. Oh, look at that already. See, if you don't want to do the micellar water and you do the wet wipes, I don't do them because if I use them all the time, I, I would fill up a trash can. So I try to be a little bit mindful. You never feel judged. You don't, you probably don't do as much as I do in here. So I have to be a little bit more mindful. But you know what? I actually think I like the micellar water more. And I normally don't like to use wipes because they can leave a little bit of residue, but I did want to kind of give you that visual. I'm going to fix this a little bit more on top with my micellar water. I don't know what it is. I just like the precision of a brush in micellar water. Plus it's, it's just better for me. And then I'm going to do a little bit here. And then if you need to, I just grab a little spoolie. Where's my spoolie? Everything has been away. Here we go, I have one here. And then I'll just kind of, oh good Lord, have mercy. Here we go. In case we knocked any down. And then it lasts. It's, <laughs> it's so good. I, I love it. And actually I just realized I grabbed a darker color. I grabbed, um, herb and I actually wanted to do MJ because I have on less makeup but actually that that kind of brings me to this I wanted to walk you through the colors because I'm sure that y'all want to see the colors but I didn't mean to do it this dark and I just realized I grabbed the wrong one so the shade I just put on is the shade herb which is this which works for me but I would normally do it with a little bit more makeup on and the shade that I did want was MJ I just got excited 
This is the shade I was wearing yesterday on my saved highlights. So you can see I wanted a much lighter brow. But here we are. But now I'm gonna walk you through lightest to darkest and I'll put it on this side. We're gonna start lightest to darkest. This is, yep, I'm double checking. I can't be trusted now. This is the shade Haze, which is the lightest shade. So there you go, you can see it. So the light doesn't distract her. But oh, there you go, nice, that's Haze. And then it's Dub. I kinda wanna go back and check now. Yeah. No, I'm gonna check. I know that's the lightest one. <laughs> Now it's MJ, that's the one that I can wear and it still looks so good. That's the color I thought I was getting, I should have known. You can see that difference, this one's cooler. And then Dub is after that. And this one has a lot more red to it. Nice. Then we have Herb, which is the one that's on here right now. And then Dutch. Whee. You can see that difference. And then we have Grind. Nice and dark. Then we have Diesel. And I'm going down. Light is the darkest. Diesel. And then last but not least, we have Cypher. There you go. Ooh, that's nice and dark. And I like how there's different undertones to choose from. I'm actually going to take this one off since I have a wet wipe. I actually feel like the wet wipe doesn't do enough. I mean, look at how hard it is to get off anyways. <laughs> In a good way. It really does dry down and it doesn't move. But I was gonna do the lighter shade in a second. I was actually gonna go film it again too. Grab me some micellar water on here. There we go. It really, it, you, you gotta get in there to get it off, but that's a good thing. I like Sheila better. Sheila's softer on my skin. Gotta dry that off. All right, we're gonna wait for that to dry. Time to think about what else we've been using and loving. Definitely the Revlon stuff. The pots, these, but I feel like we've talked about these recently. So maybe I've talked about them too much, but I do love how affordable that they are. And I love that they're so easy to access. I got this all at CVS. I, I live one minute away and I was just like, get it in there. So I love it. These have not let me down. The quads have not. This one's my favorite. Um, this is the, I'm just double checking. Yep, it's called Addictive. So if you wanna check that out. And then all of the pots. In fact, Revlon, hi, listen. We need more colors. In fact, if, if, you, wanna, if you wanna hop in my DM and you want my help with the colors, we need these colors. Okay, XOXO Gossip Girl. <laughs> DM me, Revlon. We need these colors. Now, if you're out of your full coverage powder foundation, not your just everyday quick put on powder foundation, your more full coverage, I have switched. So I was loving the Makeup Forever, but there's a better formula to me um, than Natasha Denona. I have absolutely switched to this one, and I love it. I love the color. I love that if you already use the concealer, you can so easily switch right over. It's, it's, I wear um, R5 in the concealer and I wear R5 in this and that is a beautiful thing in itself. But you have to want something more full coverage. Look at how silky and melty that is. It's like I'm putting on a liquid foundation, but obviously I get a lot more coverage with this instantly. That's usually why we reach for a powder. Wears like a dream. This is delightful and I love it and I've switched. Oh, and by the way, I have still been using this nonstop. I, I, I just don't do a lot of looks like what I have on, mascara and brows and then a little bit of this. So I put a little bit of that underneath my eyes and I initially when I first came on, I had this on my cheeks. 
um, before we went wild. So I am absolutely still using this. I love it. I'm gonna put it right here, it's so good. I love it. And it is very, very, very sheer. So I don't worry too much about it matching perfectly like a full coverage foundation. And I just kind of tap it in and I didn't even set it and it, and I had already been outside in the heat and it really didn't move and it was perfect. But it's so blurring and I just wanted to let you know and give you an update. I still use this, but when I'm on here, I'm usually doing glam look. So I'm grabbing a more full coverage foundation, but this is still something I reach for constantly if I'm doing a look like this. I think that's everything. I think next week I'm gonna to put together, oh wait, no, peace. One thing that didn't do anything, this did nothing. It did nothing. And y'all know how fair I am. I've used it enough to know. Um, if anybody's fair around here, uh, you know, I don't like, I don't like to compliment myself a lot. No, I'm fair. That's one thing I am. This did nothing. <laughs> I don't, I don't think this is going to do anything for anybody. It, it, it's too, um, it's not pigmented enough to mix in. It's not pigmented enough to wear under. It's not pigmented enough to wear on top, but it's really pretty in the bottle, but I don't think that we're going to buy things just to put them on our vanity. We might, but this did nothing. But like I said, next week, what I'll do is I'll do basically all my current faves at the moment. I think that'll be a fun video on like my favorite bronzer I'm loving, the blush, all of that good stuff. But I did want to kind of do a, a rundown today like we always do. Me looking at that fluid sheer stuff again. So cute there though, but man, sad. I'm not going to post tonight here, but listen. I have been creating content just for the Rose and Ben Beauty page and it's helpful. So if you're not following or at least checking in, okay, hop over there and check in on the page because there's some helpful stuff. I'm even be, going to be posting some more helpful videos tonight about um, brush washing technique because there's sometimes a little bit of a technique. Sometimes, sometimes we just get a little, we don't always have to do that. So um, we're going to, I'm going to be posting there so just make sure that if you don't want to follow the page i understand but do at least check in because if you like tips obviously you do if you're here if you like tips we're we're, we're we we're posting tips over here too all right my friends i love you with all of my heart i love you so so much um thank you for all the kind words today your support and just i i know i have rosamond beauty i never want to be annoying but I'm also very proud. I'm very, very, very proud of it. And I'm grateful and thank you for all of your support. You mean the world to me. And even though I have that, I always wanna make sure that that's not the sole focus. I wanna help you with even what you already have, but thank you for letting me express my excitement for Rose and Ben Beauty. Thank you so much. All right, I love you and I will, I mean, I'll always see you in the DMs.